What's going on? I am making this video for the wash guys and uh, here's a little experiment I'm running. All right, so here's the idea. I got my 12 volt 5.5 Everflow diaphragm pump. I just got it today and the goal is can I run the diaphragm pump on a DeWalt battery? Interesting. Now, why would I want to do this? It's just more compact. And then this, uh, um, what would I even call it? It's just this device. I got this. This is a uh, 3D printed. It's not an official DeWalt product, but it's compatible with the batteries the way the terminals are lined up and then it, it comes with these I'm not sure what gauge wires these are but pretty thick and now the problem is these batteries that's a 60 volt that's a 20 volt that's a 20 volt and I had thought well, you know, this requires 12 volts to run. So my problem is getting 20 volts to convert to 12 to run this. Okay. I went ahead and I went on Amazon and just got this Chinese made DC focus. Go on. DC to DC converter in 24 volt, or it looks like a range of about 15 to about 40, and then out 12 volt. Interesting. So basically, this is supposed to connect, you got your uh, input and your output, and then you connect the wires. Now the thing is, when I actually did that, I, I hooked it up one way and then I did the exact opposite. I flipped it and this bad boy just started sizzling and smoking and then this uh, this sticky liquid was coming out. So I fried this thing, this thing's dead, but I got it for about $11 off Amazon. So eh, it was worth it for the experiment. So I'm chucking that, but I still think uh, if this were to work, you got to find some way to consistently get 20 volt into 12. And I'm going to have to do some research on that. I am in electrician school right now. And my instructor said that this would theoretically make sense. But one of the problems also was that this came with these really thin wires, whereas the pumps wires are... Uh, a much thicker gauge. I don't know if that makes a makes a total difference, but yeah, I ended up just frying this thing. So, bye bye. Now, let, I'll show you what happens though when I just hook this up for a minute or so. So I'm not. This isn't like really hooked up properly. I'm just kind of jamming the wires together just to form. A, a makeshift connection to demonstrate. Okay, so that's just jammed in. And if I were to actually rig this up, I would put one of these ends on here so that it would connect more cleanly. So this is the, the smallest that I have is this little, little guy, this little tw 20 volt, but check it out. wasn't any kind of smoking or anything going on there. So I don't know. I don't know if you could run a 20 volt battery on this or if I'm like really risking burning out the motor, but I don't want to leave it running for much longer than that because I did just get this pump. I haven't even used it. 
so I don't want to destroy it. I mean, they're like like 125 bucks about. So I don't know if anybody else has done that or if you have any tips or if this project is just crazy and pointless. It's whatever, but I'm just trying to experiment because I think it would be pretty cool if you could uh, just, you know, this, this has like those five mounting holes. Like, you know, I think it'd be pretty cool to wire this up. It's a lot less just bulky and cumbersome than a big 12 volt marine battery. Just get, get your battery just snapping in and you're ready to go. And then you can just turn it off real easy by just snapping it out, put it in, put it out. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep working on this. And if anybody has any tips or advice or if they've tried it before, just let me know. That'd be great. Thank you.